Kids Cooking! What are we making today, guys? So today, we are going to make my secret recipe chicken, which is all my own recipe. You didn't find it online or anything. And <laughs> so good. I am going to eat good tonight. All right, so so why don't you get started with... I'm just going to crack this egg. This is in for here. the egg dredge. Mm -hmm. So she's putting one egg and one teaspoon of minced garlic. And so Alex, while she does that, what are you going to do? I'm going to cut up the chicken. I have chicken bre I have chicken breasts here. You can buy the already cut up into strips chicken, but we, we're buying this. So put it up into strips like this, or bite-sized strips. All right, so now well, how much garlic are you going to put in? A teaspoon. A half a teaspoon, yep. Yeah. And we bought the jar. Grandma has the jar minced garlic, but you can mince your own fresh. All right, now Soph's going to beat up that egg, egg wash, and we'll be back to mix up the dry ingredients. Now we are going to be preparing the dry breading. Mm -hmm. Now, Sophie, yes. first you're, you're going to measure a third cup of flour, which is already measured. And then I, I have a plastic bag filled with saltines. It's about a half a sleeve of saltine crackers. Then so I have my rolling pin. You could use a poultry hammer if, if you had one. Yep. And you're just gonna crush those crackers. So up. I'm gonna crush I'm gonna crush them until they get not super dusty but sort of fine, then I can bring it out with my Alright, you wanna stop with the with the rolling pin or pound meat pounder when they're about this. So if you dumped in the breadcrumbs, Alex, and she's got the flour in there. Do you wanna dump in the saltines? So now the saltines, then you're gonna you can sort of like smash them down to size with your hand you, you, with your wrist. We we sort of like them chunky. So I'm going to smash them down a little bit more. Okay. And so we're going to put these in. Okay, Alex is going to mix in the breadcrumbs. Okay, so if now you need to measure a half a teaspoon of salt. Alex, can yes. you verify which is a half for her, or do you have it? That is a half. Okay, hold it over that plate. Here, Sophie. You might want to put that out of the way. Yep, and hold it over the plate. If you spill some, it'll fall on the plate, and that's just fine. Meanwhile, while she's doing that, then I'm going to take Italian seasoning. Okay, so sprinkle some of that onto the plate. Yep, even it out. Perfect. Then so yeah. the Italian seasoning is about mom. About one teaspoon. Put it right in there. So I'm going to sort of mix this up. Alex, can you give her the ma that to measure? Okay, while she measures that out, Alex, what, what is the oh. secret ingredient for this recipe? Now the secret ingredient... <laughs> we got garlic bread sprinkle. Garlic bread sprinkle. Well, we've tried this a couple times, and the first time, the first time we tried this, we had a little left of this, and I added it, and just had sort of a little extra zingy flavor. Goodness. 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 And I do not know how much he puts in, Alex. You have to put it in there. I think it's about a half a teaspoon is what he usually puts in. It is about half a teaspoon. I sort of like to eyeball it, sort of like skim the top, sort of sprinkle it like you would do with garlic bread. Okay, and soap is going to add some pepper. To grab the, and just a few grinds of pepper if you want more or less. Proportionate. I think that's about good soap. All right, and they're just going to mix it up with the fork. You guys want to grab your forks and stir that all up? And we'll be back to bread the chicken. And now, and now, so now we're going to start breading, right? Mm -hmm. So first we're going to put the chicken in the egg wash. Then Sophie's going to cover it in our breading. Which, by the way, you can take a little pinch and taste, but make sure you before the chicken, the eggy chicken, says you don't want to taste dry. It tastes awesome. Yeah, yeah it's really, really good. So I'm just going to take this. The fork is optional, but I'm not really... I don't really like my hands getting He's all He's a wimp, right, so... Mm -hmm. It's kind of freaky about that. Weird. And then, so he's going to put it in the way egg wrap, and then he's going to hand it on over to Soph, and she's going to bread it. So, so Alex, you get those yeah. breaded? You can take more than one, put a whole bunch of them in there. And then Soph's going to bread it and then set it on the plate when she's all done. We'll finish breading these up and we'll do a shot when they're all breaded and ready to fry. Alright, we're back and now we have oil and we've, heat, we've heated it up here. Now that it's sort of start, starting to shimmer, you can drop like a little breadcrumb or something in it and if it goes then it's ready. So we're going to take the chicken. And carefully put it in. Mama's right here, standing by. The front, the oil could splatter. So stand back. As soon as you set it in, it's probably going to start splattering. So you want to get it in quickly. Okay. Now set all the chicken in and space it out. You're not going to be able to fit it all in in one load if you have, you know, we basically have six, six chicken breasts, but we're going to put it in and let you and let it fry up till it's 
cook through and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Right, Alex? Yeah. All right, now we're finished and we're ready to eat. Chicken! Happy chicken eating!